Hey, so I'm going to show you my favorite path light. It's way more than just a solar path light that is already great in terms of its quality and light and battery power. Uh, you know, I've tried at least seven different types of solar lights from home. You don't need to use a knife to open this. They have little tabs here. Uh, I've tried like seven different types of solar lights from Home Depot, uh, everywhere else, Amazon, and they're usually more or less crap. And they don't have the main feature that this ring light has of early notification of motion. So you can really extend the motion detection of your ring lights and interface them with your ring cameras to start them recording early. So oftentimes if someone's you know, moving quickly, by the time the camera starts recording or you know, for whatever reason, you miss what actually happened. This will get the cameras triggered so they start recording based on where they sense the motion. So you can see on the top has a much larger surface area than the other ring lights. Um, and here you want to unscrew it, pull the tab, and, and then it has a USB charging port if you want to get it you know, charged up early. But let's just put it down here and you can see we got it flashing now. So line up squares. Triangles in it, and in here, you know, take a take a mallet, make sure the ground is soft, maybe wet it first, and then hammer it into the ground. You'll see a little arrow says sensor direction. This is the piece that goes on here first. So get that in the ground, screw this on, and then this goes in the top. And you'll see there's a a little slot right here. So what you want to do is. Recognize sensor direction that way, and that locks it in. Now you know sensor direction goes that way, and then um, you know you find where it goes in here, there, and you can rotate it. Just put the sensor that way so it lines up, and now it's all lined up. Sensor ring, sensor direction, so. You can aim this wherever you want the motion to be detected. Add them maybe every 20 feet down your path, and then they'll all link to each other, build that network. They, they do have to have a Wi-Fi signal. Once you get this up, uh, you know, it does come with USB charging cable. Uh, it's, it's a cheap one. You probably already have plenty at home. And, you know, let it charge overnight before you plug it in if you know we can just let it go right away without charging so what we're going to do in the ring app is go to uh, set up a device so it's over in the menu here and we're going to go down to smart lighting that's our address which we'll blow that out and then you want to find a code and it's inside the battery compartment it's also on the box but that's why it's a good idea to set these things up inside we have good Wi-Fi, it just makes things a little bit easier. The code is right there. Let's set it up this way. So scan the QR code and it'll start searching for it. And we have good Wi-Fi signal here. Uh, it says it has to do an update. Oops. So it says it has to do an update. It's working right now. And that you know, little tabs setup mode, but you don't have to worry about that. So when you put the lid back on, make sure you, know, you line up the tabs there. Okay, that's locked in. And now it's installing an update. Um, if you eventually do have problems with the battery, you can replace the battery. It's nice that it's not just built in. But let me get back to the setup. So we already have a group here called driveway. I'm gonna set it up. Let's say driveway solar path light three. Continue. Now it's going to see if it will connect to the bridge. Okay, looks like we're making progress here. And now I got a notification on Alexa. So I can turn on and off the path lights manually by just telling Alexa to turn on the driveway path lights. That way, if I have guests coming over, or I can put it on a nightly routine, or you can just leave it for motion so it doesn't go on until it needs to. All right, so now you're ready to install your solar path light. I'm done. It's going to give me the option to adjust the motion settings. 
And you know, that's, that's the light right there. You can see I have another solar and another battery light. I'm going to add a bunch more solar lights. But that one is done. And there's one more step. Um, you can adjust the light schedule. So just turn it on each night so it looks like landscape lighting. Uh, I am not concerned about the battery like I was on the first gen solar ring light because you drain those D batteries just a little bit every night and that's obviously going to require you to replace the D batteries. They do make rechargeable D batteries. You can get them on Amazon, so that's a nice option, but I prefer everything solar, not have to worry about it. So I'm going to skip adding a light schedule and I just want to show you how you can control the lights just using this. So if I turn on driveway lights, that's all the ring lights at once. If I turn them off, I can just turn on one at a time. So this is the solar light three, turn it on, turn it off. And from the app, you can also adjust the brightness. So, you know, maybe you want to go down to that. That's enough light. And that's going to make the battery last a lot longer. So if you know you're going to, you know, be having cloudy days for a while, it's not going to have an opportunity to charge up because it's raining, etc. Uh, just lower the brightness. It'll last a lot longer. So I hope this helps. Hope I didn't talk too long. Stay ready.